Steve Man here, watching the King Crocoduck Pone er, Ken Hoven debate. Um, and I, I'm no I'm no scientist. I, I'm an amateur logician, and I am going to analyze this for its logical fallacies. <sighs> Kent has made I don't I lost count. <laughs> I mean. I'm only at uh, 52 minutes, but I, I, I mean, this is going to require a lot of, of effort to do it. Uh, there's no syllogisms to look at, but that's okay. We've got, we've got science versus nonsense, or well, magic, really. Uh, and King Crocoduck has made the same point in multiple different ways, and and can't will not, cannot comprehend it, because if he did comprehend it, his worldview would have to change, and he is unwilling to let that happen. Um, so, I've set up a very rudimentary model of how I understand what King is saying to, to Kent, and, you know, I, I don't know if King Crocoduck will see this video and respond to it and tell me if I was wrong or whatever or if somebody well one of you probably might be able to correct me but uh, uh, in the comments but in any in either case whoever corrects me with the correct science uh, uh, you know let's see let's see if I've got this at all okay so I'm gonna be using this little model here uh, uh, this green uh, this green little pokey thing is going to be the earth and then this blue is going to be a uh, star and then i'm going to use red for light and this is going to be one this is the thing that, that kent seems unable to comprehend is that one year of light is both a distance and and a time it's like that's it can't go faster than that this is in fact it can't go slower than that this is the speed of which light travels so you know, this is weird because he says the 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 star was made or the universe was made with the uh, mature. So, whatever that means, what does that mean? That means it means it is actually 13 billion years old, uh, but it was just made you know one second ago, which is last Tuesdayism really. But <laughs> it's completely unfalsifiable. But at any rate, it doesn't matter. He's got 6,000 years to work with, so each of these is a year. Each of these red cones, these are from the game Talisman, each of these are going to be one one light year away. Uh, I had this on my carpet before and it stuck really nicely, but the carpet's not a uh, very uh, visual uh, stage. So, At any rate, okay, so the star has to be... 6,000 years at least uh, away from our planet in order for the universe to be that old. Now, so the, the Earth was made before the star. So, you know, okay, the Earth is made, the star is made, but it's made mature, so it's made at, at least, it's made at at least 6,000 years old, I guess. I mean, <laughs> But it's actually not because the star is not actually here. It's like way over here. So um, th then, so okay, so okay, so actually, it's like okay, so the star is made like like at least there, right? And then and then and then God's stretching it out, right? He's stretching out the universe like it's still day one or four or whatever the bleep day it is you know okay and and god's like just stretching that out right and so and so he's got he's only got six thousand years to work with god doesn't have more time to work with uh so at the end of it you still have the star here <laughs> six thousand uh light years away because but he's saying, well, but it's not. It's actually, it's still way over there somewhere. <sighs> okay, so so the best I could do is to go, okay, well, let's just say God's really clever. And he doesn't want to manipulate physics, even though he could. So let's just say that this is a light year, right? So even though the Earth was first, 
and then that stars like next but uh, you know, he's just gonna make it like super, like, like really close so that the light can get to the Earth in time. But it doesn't matter, he's gonna move that star, okay? And then he's like, well, the light's constantly moving, you know, so that it will get to the Earth and then keep going, right? So the star doesn't have, the star doesn't actually have to be at the end of this cone for us to see that if the star was dead, <laughs> Okay, so this star is dead. Let's kill it. Ah, I'm dead. Then the light <laughs> would still be going. We'd still see the star, but but at the end of that year, it would wink out, and that would oh the star the star died a year ago at least you know so so that's what we would conclude you know so um, so the light's constantly moving is is the bottom line of that so i'm going to put the light source a year away and knowing that that ev that this is moving see then i can put it like another like i can i don't have to put it a year away i can actually put it two years away because this light's going to be moving during this year and this light's going to be moving during during this year so by the time this gets to here i'll still see the star even though the star is further away, right? Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, so we can get away with a gap of about a year in between. Like, if we just put the light there, and then we move it, and then we put the light there, and then we move the light, and then we put the light there, we move the light, and then, you know, okay. So, so it's... <laughs> Well, the, the the cones no longer want to behave themselves because of this paper. But at any rate, you, you get the, the idea. They're all actually, you know, so the, the actual position of the star is double the length. So it's instead of, uh, so it would appear to be, the see, 6 times 2 is 12,000. So it would be 12,000 12, years away in actuality. Uh, and and so that's where we would see the star. We would see it and measure it to be twelve thousand years away, e even though it was made uh, only six. It, well, it was. It, in fact, it well, it, it, it's made at six. It's made at twelve thousand years old, I guess. Like it's is it made here? And so that the light has time to reach the Earth. Like it's 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 made. It's made old so that the the light has time to catch up to where we are, but then that contradicts with that that he's moving the star because then we would see we would see something like this. We but we don't. So it, it, uh, so okay. So you, you would have a twelve thousand at best. Right, but but the star is actually way over here. It's not even it's not even there. So then then you you, you just you know you just you know forget it. You just pile on stuff, whatever. It doesn't matter because you know whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Who cares? You know, because that was made first, and, but it was made old. But then that was made first. But then you know, and then you just yeah, and then and that's what your model becomes. So that's pretty much how I understand how Kent understands it and uh it doesn't work <laughs> whereas you know king crocodex is pretty easy to understand light travels a certain amount of time and a certain amount of distance so that if you know if the star is three year light years away uh then 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 it took a it it's you know it's fucking three light years away <laughs> Yeah, it's not. It's not that the star is 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 five light years away, but we're you know, and it's we only see three light years from it, and we then then we wouldn't then this we wouldn't see it. Okay, we if the if there's not enough time for that light to get here, then we wouldn't see that star. <sighs> And in fact, this is going to be something that happens because this star is constantly moving away from us. Okay, um, eventually we won't, you know, we won't be able to see it anymore. We'll see, we'll see the light that came from it when it was here. So, but we won't, you know, we won't see. And then at some point we won't even see that. And, and so yeah, and, and doesn't. 
So it doesn't work. Uh, Casey's thing works because it's consistent and it actually, you know, makes sense, you know. But, but Kent's thing is like, well, magic and then, you know, you pull all this and it's just, it's a mess. So there you go. I explained the speed of light and uh, using King Crocodux plus Ken Hovind's thing. Um, King's works because it actually, you know, it's like, hey, it's three light years away, then that means it's freaking three light years away. It means it's, it's, it's at least three years old. I mean, you know, it, it might be older, but it can't be, you know, it, it, yeah, you know, it might have been there longer, but it can't be younger because, I mean, then, then, wait, no, wait, huh? No, that's, uh, you know what, I don't, I don't understand it, never mind. I blame... I blame Kent for this. Thanks for watching.